Well, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. That'll be the day when you make me cry. See, you're gonna leave it. You know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day uh, uh, when I die. When Cupid Shard is gone. Really? Good impression, eh? Excellent. Who was it? <laughs> Your hero! Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. You can sound a bit like Mario Lanza. <laughs> <laughs> I came in early to talk to Dad. Is he in yet? No, I'm afraid not. Can I help, Jamie? <sighs> no, no, it's not about work, Miss Flood, but thanks. Well, he'll be in in a minute. And don't let him catch you playing the fool in the office. You're almost a solicitor. It's for you, too. Hello, Mrs. Ellsworth. Well, <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Ellsworth's got to run along now, but I've made her an appointment for tomorrow. Oh, that's fine. I look forward to it, Mrs. Ellsworth. <laughs> Right, well, I think we'll go for the decree nasty on this one, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you tomorrow. Ta-da! Oh, poor soul. Perfectly happy together. Then they marry and it all falls apart. I've seen it a million times. A million times, have you now? Mmm, at least. Uh, could Mr Callender have a cup of coffee, Miss Flood? <laughs> I don't see why not, Hilary. Dad? Right. Are we still on for lunch today? Ah, uh, no, no, I'm going to the house again. But you went yesterday. Ah, and I'm going tomorrow. It'll keep, won't it? I'll wrap it in cling film. <laughs> a pig of soup. A, 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 a bird of soup. <laughs> it's Mick Jagger, isn't it? <laughs> Simone. Zoe. Come in. Sorry it's a bit untidy. We weren't expecting guests. Oh, that's all right, Zoe. I pride myself I can feel at home in the most squalid of places. <laughs> it's a gift, isn't it? Yes. Daddy taught us to love our fellow man regardless. How is he, by the way? Alec? Oh, he's fine. A bit tired. We had a late night last night. Celebrating, I suppose. Yes. How do you know? Zoe, this has been the longest year of my life. Honey, it's been my shortest. You should enjoy yourself more. Oh, Zoe, how can I when you and my father are... Cohabiting. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> oh, Simone, people can't help who they fall in love with. Is that the sort of subversive nonsense you teach your pupils? I'm a gym teacher. You can't give much scope to human relationships when you're on coconut matting with your head up your bottom. <laughs> if people were more careful who they fell in love with, the world wouldn't be in the mess it's in. What? How can you come round here and tell me to fall out of love with your dad? I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you... Well, what have you come here for, then? To tell you to marry him. See? <laughs> so, do I look like an idiot? <laughs> well, I'm not. I can see that no amount of plain talking is going to make you two see sense. But I've got Mrs. Caldicott to think of. Mrs. Caldicott? Mrs. Caldicott. Who the hell is Mrs. Caldicott? Only the pillar of the community, Zoe. Only the wife of Mr. Caldicott. Gosh. And she wants me to marry Alec. She insists on it. Well, how can Bill preach the sanctity of marriage if his own father-in-law has a love nest in Hatch End? <laughs> a love nest? A love nest? Well, at least there aren't any eggs yet, Simone. <laughs> God forbid. Now, I think June. The bishop's here on the 7th, but the last Saturday should be OK. Of course, I don't think Bill can marry you. Good. Don't think I fancy Bill anyway. Simone. Good, we'll have a marquee in the garden. Simone. I've enjoyed this little chat, Zoe. When we women get together, we can change the world. Now, listen, Simone. I wish I could, Zoe. Must be on my way. Oh, Saturday, tea at the vicarage. I've invited Jamie and uh, Thingy. Toodle pip, I'll see myself out. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Alec, Mum, Simone, and now Mrs. Caldershot. Flop, clop. Oh, <laughs> it's a bloody conspiracy. <laughs> Well, Alec Callender, this girl isn't playing. We've got some sorting out to do once and for all. I need a run. <laughs> do you think we should go for mental cruelty or two years separation, Miss Flood? I'd be happy if you went for a cheese and pickle roll, Hilary. I'm finished. Actually, we was thinking of going for adultery. Oh, can I come? <laughs> 
be flippant, Jamie. Uh, Dad's still not back. I really need to talk to him. No, it's not like him. He said he'd be back by three. What's that? Front row stalls. Just you and me. It's the Buddy Holly musical. <laughs> I thought it might, you know, make up for taking the mickey. <laughs> Every day. It's a getting closer. Oh, I thought you hated musicals, Miss Flag. Hilary, I haven't been out with a man with a full head of hair since 1962. <laughs> anyway, that boy needs someone to talk to. That'll be the day when you make me cry. Hello, Miss Flag. Does Alec free? Oh, oh, um, no, he's not here. No, he's down his house. You know, the proper one. <laughs> He's there a lot these days, though, isn't he? Yeah. And I'm just beginning to see why. OK, thanks. Oh, I wish I was fit like that, Miss Flood. Oh, I'm going to run three miles every morning. Good for you, Hilary. Send me a postcard when you reach Sheffield. <laughs> if you knew a peggy suit... Hello! Hi, Lick. I have just run from the flat to your office. From the office to your house. And from the house to here. Oh, I wish I'd known. I'd have fed you orange juice from the car. You've got it all worked out, haven't you? Yep. Ha. Got what worked out? The house, the wedding, the lot. You and Simone, you've probably even been talking to my mum. I am being gradually worn down and it's all for Mrs Caldicott. Mrs Caldicott? Mrs Caldicott. Mrs Caldicott. Oh, God, not again. You know who I mean. I? When God goes on holiday, he calls her in. <laughs> Darling, you lost me on the first, Mrs. Caldecott. You're all so bloody worried about what people think, aren't you? Even you, Alec. So just to keep Pinner from crumbling, we all have a nice wedding in Simone's garden and move straight into the house you've been doing up on the quiet. Doing up on the... Is that what you think? Alec, it doesn't take all afternoon to check the gas and mow the lawn. Even at your speed. Nope. You're right. You're right. <laughs> the game's up. Ah, oh, we had it all planned, you know. Me, Simone, Mrs Caldecott. We were going to slip your Mickey Finn and put you in a crate and take you to Las Vegas, get a drunken preacher, maybe catch Tom Jones on his midnight show. <laughs> <laughs> you sussed us out. I am not becoming Mrs Calendar for appearances' sake. It's not me. But you think it's me, do you? Look, if I cared so much about what people think, would I be a supporter of Partick Thistle? <laughs> Oh, I know. You've got a fancy woman down there, haven't you? It's Mrs Caldecott in fishnet stockings. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Then why are you spending all this time at the house if you're not doing it up for me? I am spending time at the house for me. For you? Aye, for me. Satisfied? In case the novelty wears off. The novelty has worn off, Alec. Ah. But it's been replaced by something far richer. Oh, Alec, do you really need that sort of security? Well, I know it seems daft to you, but I do. Then it's not for appearances. Oh, no. You know what you are, don't you? What? Go on, you can tell me. I can take it. You're a solicitor. You really know how to hurt a guy, don't you, eh? A contract's no good if it isn't in writing. Am I right, eh? No, oh, no, no. Sometimes uh, a verbal contract counts. <laughs> but I see what you mean. Then I think we're going to have to do something legal. <laughs> oh, it's not valid if it's under duress. That's an old common law concept. You are not oh, allowed under any up, account Alec. to use... <laughs> so you didn't... I did. Well, look, it's all very well seeing yourself as the new woman, but when you've got... An old man. ...someone you love, <laughs> you bend a bit. No, it's no big deal. No, it's the important things I would never give in on. Like having a dishwasher. Like being treated as an equal. Yeah. Make sure you get a dishwasher and all, though. <laughs> so, are we having a party, then? Well, we could are that room over the Trafalgar. I'm not coming if Auntie Enid's invited. We can't not invite Auntie Enid. Hang on. After what she did at Damien's christening? 
She was getting over Uncle John's death. Oh, get off. She was the one who killed him. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, there'll be presents. Maybe that'll get Trev up the aisle. He needs a new drill set. Not when you be quiet. Listen, I'm not even supposed to have told you. It's going to be a simple affair. Perhaps he can ask his grandson to be page boy. Mum? That'd be a novelty. <laughs> Is he getting you a ring? Yeah, he's taking me shopping on Saturday before Simone's. Get a solitaire. If I'd have married Bernard Godley, I'd have had a solitaire. Mind you, I'd have had to keep my hand in my pocket. He's in Parkhurst now. But the ring can be plastic for all I care. A nice plastic, though. Oh, yeah, nothing tacky. So, I envy you. Makes my thing with Trev seem a bit shabby. It is shabby. <laughs> oh, Mum. Liza, married to a solicitor. I could get used to it. Yeah, I hope I can. My shout. I got this dress in my wardrobe. Exactly the right colour. Exactly the right length. It'll do perfectly. Only trouble is it don't go with that expensive hat. What expensive hat? The one I'm going to buy tomorrow. <laughs> Are you happy? Well, you keep asking me. Do you want me to dance a jig up the high street? OK. So long as I can wear my mask. Uh, let's oh. just pretend you're normal, shall we? Oh, <laughs> Why have you sought? Well, I'm, isn't this... No, no. Come on. It's further on. Oh, God. He's bought me the Hope Diamond. Well, I have to hide it at school. Do push-ups with my right hand. Wear a glove. Right, we're here. Where? Alec, this is an estate agent. I know. Yeah, but they don't sell rings in an estate agent. Do they not? Well, will you look at that? What? Where? Alec, that's your house. You're selling your house. That is not my future. You are. And I thought we were going to the jewellers. What for? You're quite right. I mean, what can a ring possibly say that hasn't been said already? Oh. Well, what made you change your mind? Do you really want to know? Yeah. The Sharon Ellsworth case. She's a client of Hillary's. If you've got a good thing going, why change it? Good old Sharon Ellsworth. Yep. Alec? Hmm? Can I have a pair of earrings instead? <laughs> Come on. Before Simone's, there's some shopping I want to do. Huh? Hello, young lovers. Where's Catherine? Hello. Well, that's what I've been trying to talk to you about. Uh -huh. Hello, you two. Hello, darling. Look who's just popped in out of the blue. Hello, <laughs> Mrs. Caldecott. Must be back from his holidays. <clears throat> Come along, children. Wash your hands, please. Hello, Mr. Calendar. I simply can't believe how your Jamie's grown. Must have been moving out the cot that did it. I was just telling Mrs. Caldicott, you two have been doing a little shopping, eh? What? I met Debbie in the pub. What good's a secret if you've got no one to share it with? Well, let's blow it. Why don't you show us what you bought, Zoe? Oh, yes, do, Zoe. Oh, no, I, I'd rather not if you don't mind, Simone. Oh, please, Zoe, please. Uh, no, no, I don't think Zoe wants to, Simone. We're all family now, or soon will be. All right, then, if you twist my arm. <laughs> Fishnets. All right. Now come and help me put the champagne back in the fridge, Mrs. Caldicott. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. News of the World. <laughs> so what was it you wanted to tell me? Well, it's old news now. Catherine and I are splitting up. Oh, Jamie, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? You're a bit flaming late, Dad. I've got it off my chest now, thanks to Miss Flood. We went to see the Buddy Holly show last night. I bet she enjoyed that, eh? I rang her just now. Her headache's much better. <laughs> Where are you going to live? Now that Catherine's showing you out. With Miss Flood? I thought I might move back home again. Ah. Ah. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Well, I think your niece is about to strangle your nephew. I'll tell you later. We weren't slow to spread the news, were we? I don't know what Mum's going to tell Aunt Enid. Well, you're not maybe a wee bit excited. Heat of the moment, Alec. Nope, we're doing the right thing. Sin's more fun, anyway. Careful. 
I'll wear those tonight. <laughs> 